Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to use a very very important um, debugging tool so that we can see um, that um, stuff is actually happening when we click the button before we go on to add um, actual code that does stuff in response to this um, this save button being clicked. Um, now uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to output debug messages from this on-click um, handler here and if this was swing I could use system.out.println but um, since it isn't um, that trick's not going to work and I'm going to have to use something else instead and I'm going to use a static method of the log class um, and this has got a method just called very simply D standing for debug and this lets you output debug messages and you'll notice that it takes two parameters. It takes the message, uh, I'm going to fill that in here. Let's just say save button clicked. But it also takes this tag, and the tag is simply a string that you make up um, just to identify where, where this um, debug message is coming from. And since I'm going to be using the same tag over and over again, I'm going to define it as a public static final constant in this main activity class. So this is a string and I'll call it um, I'll call it tag and um, or maybe I'll call it debug tag just to be doubly clear debug tag and I'm going to set that equal to uh, my initials which are actually JWP um, so uh, my code always uh, or often ends up littered with my initials as I debug it and um, this is going to be no exception. So I'll, I'll paste that in here. So I'm just using the string JWP to identify my, my own um, um, logging messages, debug log messages. And now um, to actually see those messages, um, we need to do a couple of things. Um, firstly, um, if you look down here on the left hand side, there's this Android manifest.xml, and this is very, very useful. And we're going to be coming back to that later on. But I'm going to open this with a double click. And um, you can set all kinds of things in here. You'll notice there are various tabs. Um, there's the Android Manifest.xml tab where you can see the actual raw XML. And then the other tabs give you a nice interface to this XML. So here's the Manifest um, tab. And um, you can set various things in here. And we're going to use the application tab in this tutorial. Um, and this lets you set the icon and uh, various other things. But I'm just going to use this debuggable setting here. I'm going to set debuggable to true. And if you forget to do that, you won't see any debug messages. So let's just save this now. Now to actually see those messages, I'm going to use a tool. Um, well, I'm going to use, I want to view the output of something called logcat. And logcat is actually a system for drawing together all the debug messages and displaying them in one place. And to view logcat output, I'm going to use the Dalvik debug monitor server, uh, known as DDMS. And if you click on Open Perspective up here in the top right corner, um, and you'll find that um, uh, the Android development tools have actually installed this DDMS perspective. So I'm going to open that and uh, at the bottom here, if I just pull this up a bit, we can see the logcat output and if you um, if you have any problem running your application this is a really good place to look. So let's go back to the Java perspective for a moment. If uh, the first place to look if your application is not running is this console here and just to see what it says is happening. And then to get more detailed information, you can look at Logcat. And in particular, if you have a message saying something like, unfortunately, your application has stopped, that can happen spuriously. Um, and it just means you need to restart your emulator or something. But um, sometimes it happens for reasons um, to do with your uh, inadvertent bad coding. And if that happens, then um, look at um, logcat in DDMS and try to see if anything in particular has gone wrong that it's telling you about. Um, now uh, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this new version 
of the application that has that debug output code in it. And let's go to DDMS here. And also we can see all, all kinds of things are happening there. And hopefully it's working. Let's just check in the console. Um, so it says it's installing NoteScroll's APK success. That looks good. So in DDMS now, if I now go to my emulator and click save, um, we can see the debug output here. There's my tag, JWP, my initials, and it says save button clicked. And I can also filter this on just my own debug stuff. Um, actually, I've, I've added a filter already, but I'll get rid of that because um, I want to show you how to add it. Um, if you click the, the green plus button here, and let's give this filter a name, I'll call it my debug output and under log tag here I'll type the um, string that I use for my tag there JWP and I'll click OK and now it's filtered to just my own output let's just right click here um, oh actually I wanted to clear it but um, here we go here's the clear log button and now if I click my save button I can just see my own debug output here and it says save button clicked so that's very very handy for um, debugging your application and checking what's going on and I always think that it's um, it's worth checking um, that um, something you're a little bit unsure about actually works with a debug statement before going on to make it more elaborate so that's it for this tutorial um, join me again next time and until next time happy coding